I'm just gonna go ahead and do a uh, screen recording so you guys can see exactly how I format Excel so you guys can see exactly how you can use Google Docs to track your expenses. Um, I'm gonna keep this basic because it can't get complicated and I'm just trying to do a beginner friendly Excel spreadsheet um, tutorial with you all, okay? So the first thing you need to do is go to docs.google.com and over here we see the three lines, the main menu. You will click on that and you will go to sheets. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and do a blank sheet. We're going to go ahead and format and get everything how we want it to be, okay? So this is the scenario, this is the type of business. Um, I am a cosmetics business and I sell um, beauty products and I'm going to go ahead and start off with uh, my Excel because I am um, just now starting off and this is what I'm gonna be doing, okay? So the first thing we want to go ahead and do, we can just put our business name right here, okay? And then I'm gonna skip a line. And then on the third cell, I'm going to put total income. And then on the fourth one, I'm gonna put total expenses. And the reason why I put this up here in the top is because when I first log into the spreadsheet, I want to see how much money I've made. And, um, oops, I did not spell total right. We got to fix this. Okay. All right, yeah, so we see our total income and our total expenses all at the same time, okay? Now, and then we can put um, profit. Right here okay so now we're gonna go ahead and focus on the revenue okay so we have the revenue section here and so under under um, revenue we're gonna go ahead and put our title pages okay so for our titles we're gonna have date okay guys I cannot type we're gonna tab over and I'm gonna put source we're gonna put description And then we're going to put them out. Okay, so then we're going to go down some more. I'm just going to skip some spaces and we're going to do expenses. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put date and then we're going to put source, description. I could have just copied and pasted, but I'm being extra in them out. Okay, now. I'm going to explain to you why I titled this and like I said, I did it so it can be very easy for you to follow and um, not complicate things, okay? So for revenue, anytime you're ha you have money coming in or you're making a deposit, you gotta put the date. The source is you're gonna say where is this money coming from? Is it an ATM deposit or is it um, a sale or is it a fundraiser, what have you? What is the source, okay? What is the source? And then you're going to describe it. Um, cosmetic sale, product sale. Just put a description so you know exactly in detail. When you look at it, yes, it's an ATM deposit, but where did you get that money? Or, you know, how did you, um, is this an investment or um, your a sponsorship or what have you? So you're going to put that description in there, and then you're going to put the amount, okay? You're gonna put the amount in here. And then, um, when you go to expenses, right here, you're gonna put the date, okay? You're gonna put the date of the expense. What did you do? Where are you buying products from your vendor? You may put the vendor name. So if you buy, bought it from Amazon, you can put Amazon right here, and then in the description, you can put exactly what it was. Uh, pigment, base, or what have you, tubes, um, glitter. You put that description in there, so when you look at the date, you look at the source, you look at the description, it all makes sense to you just by glancing at it. And then you put the amount right here. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and fill this out. And um, and you can do this and just keep it like this or you can copy it, copy the sheet and copy it. You can do it month by month 
and things like that. So whatever is easier for you to follow is what I would recommend you to do. If you just want to keep it all on one spreadsheet, keep it all on one sheet. If you want to do different tabs within the sheet, so I suggest you do that so you can see how much money you're making from month to month. So that's always easier for, to, for, for you to do. So let's just say you want to do that. Let's just say you want to name this. Um, okay, we are May. We are in May. So I'm going to go ahead and put May. And let's just say I wanted to keep the same thing. I want to do the same thing. I'm going to do copy and do existing spreadsheet. Or no. Yeah, duplicate. Is it duplicate? Yeah. Just that, that's what it is. Duplicate. And so I'm going to do that and rename it and put... Yeah. Okay, so the best thing for you to do is make sure you put the formulas first. Put the formulas first so that way you can copy it over. Go ahead and delete that. Okay, so now let's go ahead and fill this in. Okay, and then so that way we can do the formulas. All right, so the date I'm going to put May 1st. And since I'm a new business, let's just say I started off with a $500. Um, I took $500 of my personal money. I wanted to invest it in my business, okay? So I'm going to put um, the source. I'm going to put um, ATM, no, um, opening balance. So when I opened up my business account, I, I, opened, it, I opened it up with $500, okay? Um, yeah, I have OCD, so certain things gotta look a certain way. Okay. All right. So opening balance. Okay. So now the description is um, investment for business. Okay. So for me, when I'm looking at it, I know exactly what this means. Okay. Investment for business is an opening balance. How much is it? Five hundred dollars. Okay, so that's that. Now, that's the revenue, right? So let's just say that's the only thing that's coming in for right now for May. But for expenses, we have some expenses coming up for right now. So on May the 2nd, I ordered some business cards from Vistaprint. So I'm going to put Vistaprint right here, and I'm going to put business cards. If I wanted to, I could put 500 business cards and 100 business cards, 250 what whatever helps you know exactly what's going on and and what you purchase is the better is is best okay so let's go ahead and put I order 500 business cards okay all right I'll just put them be a little bit more specific so I know what this 500 means so I can put quantity it's 500 right now the amount they had a special going on and I paid fifty dollars right so fifty dollars. So what I can do is now I want to put the formula so that it can keep track of what's going on right here. So I'm going to go ahead and put, okay, total revenue. And then I'm going to put equals. I'm going to put the sum of this, okay? That's what I'm going to do it. And then I'm going to put total expenses. And I'm going to put equals sum of, get out the way, please. Get out the way. All right, here we go. All right. Like that, okay? So now when I'm doing my total income right here, put equals sum of this number. And then total expenses equals sum of this number. Okay. Now total profit is how much is left. So we're going to do a formula. We're going to put equals this total income minus total expenses. So I know right now I have $450 as of right now. Okay. And so because we format, formatted the sales, so anytime we add numbers, this the 450 should update accordingly, okay? So let's just say um, I made, um, 
how can I say this to make sense? Um, let's see here. Let's just say my mom, she wanted to support my business and she gave me a hundred dollars. Okay, so on five three. Okay, I'm gonna put this as a sponsorship. Okay, and I'm gonna put mom, uh, mom, and uh, sponsor. Okay, like that. Okay, and I'm gonna put the one hundred dollars. Okay, you see how the total revenue column went to six hundred, and now the total profit right now is five fifty. So you know exactly what is going on. Okay, y'all, this formatting of the cell, oh my gosh, this thing. Okay, I'm sorry, y'all. All right, so you see how that 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 did that right there. Now let's just say on five five four. Okay. I made a big purchase of supplies on Amazon, okay? I bought everything that I needed to start off with, okay? So I'm going to go put um, inventory, no, um, supplies, right? I'm going to put supplies, but I'm going to go ahead and put what type of supplies that I bought. I might put lip gloss base, right? I might put, um, what else did I buy? Um tubes, um, stickers, um, packaging, right? So I'm going to go ahead and put that. I got that from there, right? Um, sex wrapping. Okay. Yeah. So I put that. I got that, that from there, right? So now it probably came up to $250. For all the supplies, so I'm put 250, right? So now I've spent 300 dollars, okay? And how much I have right now? I have 300 dollars, okay? So as you can see, this is very basic. This is very beginner friendly, and so you can format it. You can, you know, format the sales. You know, merge it. Um, oh, let me see here. Merge. Okay, so you can merge the cells and make it look however way you want it to look. Okay, um, revenue. Am I, am I may, maybe I want revenue to be green. Okay, expenses. Maybe I want expenses to be red because it's money that's going out, right? So I might do it like that. Um, okay. I might do it like that, and maybe I put a line break. Um, you guys, I am not really good with Excel and Google, but um, I'm learning, okay? All right, so maybe I want to do this in bold, and maybe I'll center it, okay? Same thing for here, bold, and I'm going to center it. Okay, and then this right here, I'll put that in green so I know what I'm looking at. And then this is going to be in red so I know what's going on there. And then this is what I really want to focus on, see what, what, what I have on hand right now. And then I might want to box that up. And then same thing for here, box that up. So you see how I quickly did that? I, I quickly did this and at the glance, I can see, okay, for the month of May, so far I had $600 that, that I started, you know, $600 and I had $300 worth of expenses for the month of May and as of right now, I have $300, okay? So I just quickly made the spreadsheet. Um, as you continue to work in your business, there may be things that you want to add. There may be things that you want to tweak and just make it your own. So at the end of the day, as long as you understand what is going on within your business, that's the most important thing. Um, like I said, this is very beginner friendly, okay? This is very basic. And um, I just kept it simple. 
um, just so that you can um, see exactly what's going on. But when you have QuickBooks, things like business cards may go into advertising. Things like um, lip gloss base, tubes, stickers, that may go into um, uh, supplies, op you know, operating supplies. So as you go into other um, softwares, it gets a little bit more detailed so you can see exactly how much money are you spending on shipping? How, many, how much money are you spending on advertising and marketing? How much money are you spending on your supplies and, and things like that, um, operating uh, for operating supplies, uh, inventory, things like that. So it gets a little bit more detail so you know exactly what you're spending on what. But putting these, these description can let you look at a glance and say, well, let me see what I spent for supplies. You can eat, quickly find those items because you labeled them supplies and things like your business cards. Anytime you're like, let's just say you have a Facebook ad, you might put marketing Facebook ad for whatever, whatever, for that type of event, like for Mother's Day. You may say, Facebook ad for Mother's Day. So I don't want to make it too complicated, but I just wanted to show you guys exactly how you can create this, and it's totally free. I hope this was helpful. I'm going to go ahead and end the tutorial now and switch back over. Thank you for watching this video. If you made it this far in the video, go ahead and comment bananas below so I know that you're a real one and that you stuck with me through this video. Go ahead and comment that below, and I'll see you on the next one.